Hello, um, welcome to recording and editing. Um, so normally I would uh, be delivering this presentation in person um, with face-to-face -face workshop. Um, unfortunately, we can't do that. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, try and provide this presentation, uh, give you a bit of practical advice um, about recording and editing your videos. So here we go. Um, so we'll just go over a few recording devices, um, best rec best uh, practice recording tips, so what to do um, when you're recording. Probably uh, don't record when you've got a garbage truck going by because you'll probably pick up that audio. Um, and then best video editing options um, and the resources that are available to you. First thing, I'll just mention our website, um, so dsctal.space, um, so you can go to the forward slash video, that'll give you the recording, editing and um, sort of copyright resources straight away. Um, I'll just give you a quick intro to our website first. Um, so we've got, this is the home page, um, so this is more for, you know, teachers who need to um, some help professional development but if you go to multimedia production we've got a suite of resources available for everyone to record videos edit videos and I'll show you the copyright as well if you did want to look at our podcasting resources we have that too um, but you're probably more interested in video so um, I'll just quickly show you, um, so the recording video resources, we've got all of these playlists that you can watch and I'll be going over it um, in a bit of detail in a minute. Um, what you'll probably want most is the editing resources, um, so they're all on the website as well. So we've got heaps of playlists that you can just watch one to four, they're really short videos, really practical advice about how to get started with your project. So. Uh, recording devices, what are they? Anything that you can record um, a video and audio, that's pretty much it. So you can record on your phone, that's a good recording device um, and you, you can record um, on your laptop which is what I'm doing right now. So um, what I'll say is when the campus opens again, who knows when, um, you can get um, some higher quality gear from AV Loans if you want. Um, you can get some uh, USB microphones from there that's really useful. So it's available for free um, for staff and students to loan gear. Uh, and for audio recording, I would say the best thing would be just to have a microphone. So. Um, you can use just any headset that comes with your phone. I'm using um, this headset with a microphone um, to record um, and this is fine, you know, it's, it's, it does the job and that's all you want. So, some tips. So, if you are going to use your phone, always use the back camera. So, if I were to record myself, I'd face it this way so that... Um, the better camera is facing me. So if you'll notice the the um, phones, the selfie camera on the front is always less quality than the back camera. It's a mass, much bigger camera um, and you'll get more sort of, um, you get better quality um, images from your phone. I think this camera on the phone is probably better than the computer camera. Um, but just remember, if you are going to use your phone, to use the back camera and try and get someone else to hold it for you. So someone else can, you know, film you and then they can just focus on the shot and you can just focus on what you're saying. Um, obviously, that's a bit uh, difficult in these times. Just make sure you are doing social distancing if you are going to um, get someone to help you. So uh, tips for framing. So... Um, I'll actually go over how to do proper framing in a minute because I'm going to show you how to improve this shot that I've got going right now. So um, I would just recommend positioning the person either in the centre or the left or the right of the shot and to ensure that you don't have too much room up here because, you know, people want to focus on the speaker, the person who's speaking, not what's above them or behind them or you know to the side so try and keep it you know pretty um clear around um and you can have some blank space but just not too much blank space 
And when uh, when doing videos, like audio is really important. Um, so tips for video backgrounds. Um, I would say um, don't do what I'm doing right now and have an open window right next to you because otherwise the camera is going to overcompensate and make you a lot darker. So I've actually got a lamp here that's giving a lot of light on me and that's really helping. So if you see that's off, this is on, it, it makes a huge difference. Um, and then just microphones, use a headset, use something so that you can get good audio. So I'm going to show you how to record using QuickTime. So I'm just going to my applications, I'm going to open up QuickTime and I'm just going to go file new movie recording. So it's worth noting that QuickTime you can do an audio recording and a screen recording um, if you did want to do it that way. So to make this shot better, I'm going to actually use a tissue box and I'm going to put this a little bit higher. Ah, oh, now the lamp's in the way. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I'm just going to tilt it a bit further down and you'll see it's already making a big difference. Like I'm almost eye level with you and that's a huge difference. I'm actually also going to close this curtain and that stopped a lot of that really bright light from coming in and I've got the lamp on if it was off it would be a much different shot so you can see that I'm already really dark in the foreground and the background is really light so it makes a huge difference having a bit of a, um, a light on so to record using QuickTime you just press this record button oh one thing I'll say before I do that you can uh, change the microphone input so if you had more than one microphone plugged in, um, you can select the proper microphone. And if you had a same, if you had a webcam or something plugged in, you can select the right webcam. To record, you just press the record button, and you sort of just do your thing, and then just when you're ready, press stop, and that will come up with this video. Um, you could scrub it if you want just to see, but then you have to remember to save it. So um, just I'm just saving it as untitled on the desktop and I've already recorded a video so I'm just going to replace that. So that's how you do a video and same exact process if you're going to do an audio recording or a screen recording. Same exact process, just pick one of those. So that's pretty much basic recording. That's all you need to know. Just make sure that you've got good audio, you've got a headset, you haven't got a bright background and you're either to the center or the left or the right of frame. That's all you really need to know for um, recording. So you can use an iPad, mobile phone, um, especially any of these devices. Um, if you just want to do audio, just make sure you get a microphone or a headset or you're in a really quiet location. Um, and you're really close to the microphone. So if you are just going to use your laptop audio um, microphone, make sure you're really close and you're in a really quiet environment. So here's some uh, videos that um, I made on the first video on the left is about uh, mobile devices, tablets and webcams. So if you did want to, it just covers some of the stuff that I just talked about. Um, but if you did want to watch the video, the link's there in the presentation. Um, the video on the right, it covers um, how to record using DSLRs. Um, so these are available through AV Loans whenever the campus reopens. Um, so if you did want to watch that just for your information, um, I'd say go ahead. Uh, and just remember that there's heaps of resources on our blog. All of the videos are up there. We made so many videos um, on this kind of thing just to get you started. Um, so all of the content is online. Um, so dsctal.space and if you want to do recording video, it's just that link there. So, okay, so editing. Uh, I recommend... Um, Easiest one to use is Adobe Rush. The only issue is it's not free. You need a Creative Cloud subscription. So to do that, um, you can either check with your course coordinator if you have access to Adobe. If you do, you can just log in um, with your RMIT email address. Um, 
but I don't as as far as I knew in the past classes, I don't think um, Yiping's class has had access to Adobe. Um, but we do have some information on our um, website. I'll just show you where um, about Adobe. So if you go down here, we've got accessing Adobe Creative Cloud. So um, all you need to do is just download Adobe Creative Cloud and then log in with your staff or student email address. Um, unfortunately, Creative Cloud is no longer available on my desktop. It was kind of a bit crap anyway because of the, um, it was really laggy. Um, uh, the other thing I can mention is you can purchase it, but if you only need it to edit one video, I wouldn't bother um, purchasing it. I'll just sort of stick with one of the free ones. So the free ones are iMovie. So iMovie comes pre-installed in a Mac and that Mac um, should already have iMovie installed on it. So the other option is Kden Live. So that's actually available for a Mac, PC and Linux. Um, the only thing I'll say about Kden Live um, is that it is a bit harder to use. It does do a lot more than iMovie does, but it is a, the learning curve is a little bit higher. Um, so I'll just show you on our website for editing um, up here. So we've got how to trim on your mobile, how to trim using QuickTime. So that's basic editing. But if you want to do anything fancier, um, we've got all these tutorials here for iMovie um, and then all of these tutorials here for Kden Live. So just make sure that if you do want to use these programs, um, watch these videos first. It will it will go down. Th it will go through everything. It'll go through downloading it, editing on it, um, adding images, adding music, it, pff, exporting. It, it pretty much goes through everything. So it teaches you how to do it from start to finish. The other thing I'll mention is Adobe Clip. Adobe Clip came before Rush, but it is um, no longer available. So you can't download it anymore through the App Store or on um, Google Play, unfortunately. This was as of 17th of September. Um, if you do have it installed, feel free to use it. But um, the uh, Adobe are not going to support it. So just worth noting. And probably most people want to edit on a laptop anyway. You probably don't want to use your phone. That is an option though, if you did want to. Uh, if you want a more advanced uh, sort of editing software, you can use Premiere Pro. Uh, Premiere Pro is a, another Adobe product that's available through the cloud. Um, so the same access issues remain. Um, uh, After Effects is an animated animation and graphic to, uh, motion graphics software. So you can use that if you want to, but um, I would say if you don't have any prior knowledge, maybe stay clear of these, stay clear of these and use something that, you know, is a little bit easy to use. Um, yeah. Okay. Now here comes the important thing that I sort of want to get across. So with copyright, um, if you don't have permission to use something, generally you can't really use it. So the only thing I'll say about that is that there's this thing called Creative Commons. And you, again, I'll refer you to our website. So there's a, some information here about copyright. You know, wh what is it? <laughs> uh, what do you kind of do um, to, you know, download content legally? So... What I'll mention here is I'll just show you this um, little graph that we've got here. So this is um, a graph charting what is kind of Creative Commons. So it's this kind of licensing system that anyone, like you could upload content to a sharing website and attach one of these licenses. So basically CC0 is public domain. So that's the most open of all of the content out there. So that means that you actually don't need to mention where you got this footage from. You can just use it. Legally, you don't need to attribute. The next step down is attribution. So BY means attribution. So CCBY just means that it's a Creative, Com <laughs> Creative Commons license that you need to attribute. So still in the green, still very accessible. Um, it means you can, you know, edit it, 
what it, whatever you need to do with that, you can edit it as long as you um, attribute. There are other licenses which I won't go into because to be honest, they're not as common as the other ones, um, but I'll just mention the non-commercial one. So if you want to make money off a video and some content that you're using in your video has not commercial, um, that means you can't use that content. So basically, if you're making money, don't use the NC um, license. So to give you an example of attribution, I've actually attributed this table. So down here, I've got, I got the title of the work, which is Creative Commons License Spectrum by Shadim, and the license is CCBY 4.0. So the license is this second one down, which is CCBY, which just means I need to attribute. Um, so it's not, none of these other ones, it's just this license here. So there's some information here on attribution. If you need more information, Creative Commons has a great um, resource online for learning how to attribute content. So, you know, there's an example here, you know, of flamingos. Um, different ways you can attribute. Uh, so just going back, um, if you need to find images, music and videos, we made this great resource here. So to look for images, you just click on this button twice and it will sort all of the image, image websites first. So archive.org is a good one. Um, so it just depends what you're looking for. I think a lot of you are looking for country specific videos or images. So um, a good one for that is you, like Pixabay is a good one. Um, I think Wiki Commons is a good one. Where is that? Is it in alphabetical order? Yes, Wiki Commons. Um, so you can just sort of search for what you need to search for. I think I've already looked for stuff in there. Um, so you can just find an image, um, click on it. And like if you really like the image, just check the license. That's a really nice image actually. So down here it's got BB, <laughs> CCBYSA, which is share alike. So you can click on that for more information um, and it'll just give you the license. So that means you can use it, you just need to attribute it. Uh, but how you attribute it is you just need this name. Uh, oh, sorry, is that the name of the work? I think it is. You can go more details if you're not sure. Oh no, this is the name of the work, sorry. So that's the name of the work. So you'd copy this um, and then you'd put by the author, which is this name. And then you would find that license, which I just showed you before, um, which is here. And you would just copy the little shorthand here. So the little kind of, you know, abbreviation here, you just copy that. So if you want to use that in your work, it's no problem, just download it. I'd recommend to download the original files if you can, just because they'll be much higher quality and you'll avoid the risk of just downloading a thumbnail. Um, exact same process goes for music and video. So if you want some music, just go here. Maybe a good one for music is either like hook sounds um, or YouTube audio library. So YouTube Audio Library, oh, sorry, just have to log in. So this is the YouTube Audio Library. Uh, you can click um, Attribution Not Required if you want sort of those public domain um, clips to come up. Otherwise you can click Attribution Required and it'll come up with just the ones that you need to um, make sure that you have the, li the license quoted for or you can just search through all the stuff. And the good thing about this is that you can search by duration. So depending on how long your video is, you might want pieces that are a little bit longer. If you do choose a shorter piece, you can just crossfade two pieces of music together um, or even the same one, but just try and find a spot where it's not too obvious that you're doing um, a bit of a crossfade. Um, just crossfade between the music and you can just play around with it, have some fun. But it's really easy to download um, this content. You just click download and it'll save wherever you save it to.
So that's music uh, videos. A good site for videos is Pexels videos. So you can just sort of look through the content and the good thing about Pexels is that you don't really need to check the license because um, all of these videos are public domain. Isn't that great? So you don't really need to worry about it. But if you did want to, you can just copy the, the author and the, type, the name of the... Um, so this is the name of the video. You can just copy that. And that, and just put CC0 for public domain. So that would be how you attribute this one. I don't know why it's not playing. My internet must be really bad. Okay, well, I'll close that now because I think you've got the gist of how to find stuff. Um, so that's pretty much copyright um, and attribution. Um, so I'll just say, make sure you have the title of the work, the artist and the Creative Commons license. Um, if you need more information, just head to the Creative Commons website um, there. Now, um, what's important is if you do have any questions, these are our email addresses. So dsctal.production um, is our production team's email. So I'm actually leaving RMIT, unfortunately, but my colleague Kevin, um, his email is there, Kevin Fronke. He can assist if you do have any specific email inquiries. Um, just feel free to send it through. Um, but importantly, enjoy. Um, you, the kind of hard part of your assignment would be um, actually structuring the content and writing um, the scripts. But I think this part, um, I think you should enjoy this part, um, sourcing content and putting it together. This is kind of like the practical hands-on stuff that might actually, you might actually really enjoy. Um, so good luck with your assessments um, and just good luck. I think um, it's really bizarre you know, context that we're in now. And I think if you can master these video skills, I think they'll be really handy um, in the future, especially if you're um, editing content. If you pick up these skills, you'll be able to sort of um, be adaptable in this changing landscape. So, you know, I hope you're all safe, um, staying, staying at home safe and, um, you know, um, good luck with everything. Wishing you all the best.